Hey beauties, it's Lord Carlos here. Welcome to As Fast As Possible. Our topic today is printing from Octoprint slower than from SD card? And the answer is yes, but it depends. The idea was that the connection gets overloaded by too many G-code commands. That means I wanted to print something very complicated, not just a straight line, and print it fast. To simulate a complex print, I just make a small cuboid and I select a very high percentage gyroid infill. Gyroid is so high resolution, it creates massive G-code files. As a matter of fact, there's a pull request for Prusa Slicer to make it easier for the firmware to print it. It might be merged into Prusa Slicer after the 2.2 release, but I would not bet on it. Anyhow, Gyroid Infill can make the G-code file from a small cuboid object 200 times as large compared to Grid Infill. I selected the Prusa Slicer default 0.2mm speed MK3 print setting, which has infill speed at 200mm per second. I then selected 30% Gyroid Infill and disabled the setting that slows the print down if the layer speed is below 20 seconds. We want to test a worst case scenario here. I printed the same G-code file from both Octoprint and from SD card. The print time difference was significant. While the SD card took less than 18 minutes, the print via USB took more than 23 minutes. The SD card was thus 32% faster. I also did some tests with 15% gyroid, 15% grid, 15% gyroid at 80 mm per second and a XYZ cube with uh, stock settings. Uh, that means minimum layer time of 20 seconds. With grid infill the results were as expected. USB and SD card are almost the same speed. I measured a 2% difference but that might be within margin of error. Same with the XYZ cube which was slowed down by the minimum layer time. What I did not expect was the 15% gyroid at 80 mm per second. It was still 12% faster from the SD card. Conclusion, I did not expect that much of a difference in the lower end with gyroid. I will still use Octoprint as most of the time my print time is the same as Prusa Slicer estimate which is spot on with the Prusa printer and default settings and firmware. That means there is no slowdown occurring. If you have a big print that prints both fast and is also complex, or uses lots of gyroid infill, it might be worth using SD card.